Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. I want you to repeat after me, perfection is unattainable. Because it is. Um, you know, I see so many people out there that are tripping themselves up. And, and like I say, this is another one of those, this is the weekend talk. Um, this is one of those, this is uh, probably very applicable to a lot of areas of life. But um, people put such uh, pressure on themselves um, by having this uh, level of expectations of, uh, for different things. And it, it basically what it does is it's tripping a lot of people. It trips a lot of people up and impedes their, uh, their success. Ironically, because you know, uh, it's like they, they stress so much. I saw this um, a, a couple of days back, you know, um, some, so I, I stumbled across a discussion and um, somebody was like really beating themselves up because they slipped up and they ate something. They had been doing good for, I forget how much, how much a period of time. And they slipped up and ate something that, uh, they didn't feel they were supposed to, that didn't serve them, um, that, that they don't no normally eat anymore. And the thing is, is it wasn't even, um, and I see this a lot too. A lot of times, I mean, I can't remember the exact story, but a lot of times I see similar stories over and over and over. A lot of times the person hasn't even really messed up as bad as they think. I mean, like I say, I, I don't even like calling it a mess up, a screw up. It's like it's, it's life because no, there's not really anybody out there that's going to do too many things perfectly. I mean, I'm kind of open at leaving the door open that there's an exception, that there is some perfection that's attainable, but uh, for the most part, no. And people uh, get so ups upset about it sometimes when they, you know, go off their plan or, or go off their program in life, whatever they're trying to do. Um, it, there's this mentality, and I've, I've used it in the past a lot myself, and it's totally backward thinking, but um, I, can, I can relate to it because I've done it myself in the past, but it's... Um, you need to catch yourself. Like so many times people are doing well on their lifestyle or own something that they're trying to accomplish in life or trying to change a habit um, or whatever. And they make one little mistake and they turn that mistake, it's kind of the old turn, uh, making a mountain out of a molehill. And they, they spin this mistake to the point where they just think it's the end of the world and then they get all uh, depressed and sad and droopy face and hanging and they just, then it's kind of like, okay, well, I've screwed up. Uh, you know, either I'll get back on, I'll get back to what I'm doing uh, soon or whatever, but now, and then they go and they just totally uh, uh, spin out of control. And, you know, they kind of use that one mess up. Sometimes it's an excuse, I think. Sometimes it's like, okay, well now, I've messed up, I don't have my street going of whatever you were trying to do, so now I might as well just eat some more bad stuff and get it out of my system, and then tomorrow, Monday, next week, first of the year, I'll get back on my program. When if a lot of times you would just catch it right there, just okay, well, we'll talk for food, we'll, we'll you put it in terms of food. Let's say I'm trying to do something and wherever you are on your journey or wherever I would be on my journey, and you've done something good, you're going well the first week, the second week, the third week, maybe you go a month, maybe a month or six weeks in, you, uh, you eat something, you know, something comes up, whether it's a, an event you have to go to, uh, you're dealing with some stress, uh, whatever. After all this time, you eat some little something that's not optimal for you, that's not the best for you, and it gets blown all out of proportion. Like I say, if you will just like treat it as a blip, it's kind of like, you know, in meditation, um, like if you try to stop your thoughts or if you try to be like, make your mind silent, that just thoughts just keep coming up and up and up. But most of the time uh, people will advise you to just acknowledge the thought and then just let it go. If you mess up where it comes to the eating, just, uh, just be rational about it. Don't be so emotional on this journey. And I know some people are gonna or do not like to hear that but sometimes it's like you know be a little bit more pragmatic be a little bit more logical do it without so much oh my gosh I'm, just look at things as they are and uh, sum up the situation and just get back on your plan like that's all you got to do if you're doing something when, with the food and you eat something today and you're like you're disappointed in yourself initially let that go immediately let it go immediately just realize say okay if you want to uh, do a little reflection on it, 
Um, I'm not saying you got to let it go, just kind of block it out, but do a little reflection on it. What was the triggers? What led you to eat what you didn't want to eat or what led you to do what you didn't want to do? What led you to exhibit behavior that you didn't want to exhibit? Once again, getting back to identifying it, identify why you did it or just acknowledging that you, you know, that you did something that you didn't want to do. Figure out why, figure out, okay, this and that, and then just move on, move on. I mean, there's nothing that you're going to eat. There's not any one meal that is just going to totally destroy you, I doubt. I mean, I guess, you know, if it's not poisoned or whatever, there's not any one thing, one food, meal, whatever that you're going to do that's just going to absolutely uh, undo. And people think that too, like they say they failed or they've like, uh, you haven't undone anything. If you've been, you know, you do this thing for whatever, a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, four months, and then people will eat that something bad, and then they act like that's undone. Every bit of um, the healthy, living healthy habits they've picked up over recent months, and that's just, that's ludicrous. I mean, but you have to be a little bit more rational about it and not be so emotional when uh, dealing with this eating. Now, I don't get into the issues. I'm not necessarily talking about emotional eating. I'm just talking about problem solving. When we're rational, when we use logic over emotion, we solve more. Now, yeah, there's some things out there that we do use emotion. We use the heart. We use whatever. But in a lot of things in life, if you want to be successful with them, you just need to laser in go and just look at it as it is not look at it as sad or happy bad or good but this is what i did this is why i didn't want to do it this is what my what i'm going to do to correct it or get back uh, you know get back on my plan and like i say um this is um you know i talk i, I kind of put it in terms of food here but this is a very good example of just things that can uh, be projected into different areas of life because people just put too many things on themselves. I see some of these as I, you know, I didn't watch any of the Olympics, but you can't really miss it popping up on social media and whatever. And I know with these gymnasts, especially the female gymnasts, there's a lot of time, there's a lot of, uh, you know, in athletics or whatever, there's a lot of uh, pressure put on some of these young people. And, and I, I don't even want to get into the psychology there when it's pressure from outside that's led people to something, but just always know no matter what you're doing you give the best effort you can when you make a mistake you learn and you move on but perfection's not attainable and if you if you chase perfection your whole life and you can't accept that it's unattainable you're going to have you're going to get frustrated a lot anyhow just a rambling weekend video i hope you guys like this one if you like it give me a thumbs up hope you'll subscribe to the channel and i hope you are having a wonderful weekend Probably, like I say, I'm ahead on my videos. By the time you watch this, uh, uh, Lissa will already be down here. We're probably going to be at our uh, at the organic market in downtown San Jose. So there's a lot of cool stuff to come while she's here. We're going to go to uh, hopefully. Well, we'll see. We're going to go to the market for sure. Spend the day there. Go have lunch at the vegan restaurant that I like. Um, we'll do. We might do both. There's a volcano very close to here and there's some waterfalls close to here. We're kind of planning on doing both, but we're definitely going to do one. So there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. So hope you guys will uh, follow along. Peace.